Hi, hello, and howdy. Welcome to week one of the BBR uh, season four, I think. And uh, we're going up against Olivia Sama and a heck of a scary team, dude. Uh, you can see it on the screen. Roaring Moon, Iron Hands, Torkoal, Gastrodon, Scovillain, Braviary, uh, Hatterene, Klefki, Venomoth, Sableye, and Lycanroc. So basically a bunch of just strong threats and then like just a little pocket of super annoying fucking Pokemon to deal with as well. Um, definitely have a few thoughts on this matchup. First of all, I gotta just say, this is a post-battle team builder. I don't like when people don't differentiate between that. I don't like when people like have the battle and then go, I know ahead of time what everything's gonna do. It's like, dude, fucking, we know you're not doing this correctly, you know? So, full disclosure, this is a post-battle team builder. I did not do one before the hand, and I meant to do that. I'm gonna try to do that more often during the season. So, um, yeah, this is a scary fucking team. It's Terra Flying, Roaring Moon. I have Terra Steel Scizor and Terra Fighting Miss Magius. So, um, looking at the matchup, <laughs> looking at the matchup, Sun is a little bit scary. However, uh, Don Fan, fucking Gon Fan, aka you know, uh, Great Tusk, absolutely goes in if the Sun comes. Like, there's no switch ins. There's absolutely no switch ins. And I was debating on the item for it over and over again. Life Orb, Assault Vest, Lefties, maybe like a, uh, I can't even think of the berry. Whatever the Flying Resist berry is, I was thinking about that. I eventually decided on Life Orb, but uh, it is a very strong boy. We got Rapid Spin, Close Combat, Headlong Rush, and Ice Spinner. It's just unresisted. It Two it KOs defensive Gastrodon. It kills everything all the time. It's just so strong. I'm bringing it. I'm clicking buttons with it, and we're gonna see what we can do. Um, also, you may have noticed this is the team builder screen. This, these aren't pre prepared slides. This is just a fun little thing with Marnie on it, because who really cares about what my dumb EV spread is? That should be better, but isn't. You know. So, Life Orb, Great Tusk, looking pretty clean. Uh, we also have the cat, Pershifu, Meowskarada, Meowskarada, and uh, it's a choice scarf set with protein. Of course, protein did get that nerf, so only the first button you click will be that type, you know? So, I think I think choice sets are going to be better for me this gen. Not that I will be running that all the time, but I think that's kind of going to be, you know, better. Honestly, I could, <laughs> if I'm just running, like if they... If I'm in a matchup where Grass and Dark is just better, I'll just run fucking Overgrow and just still have both stabs, you know? Um, but U-Turn, U-Turn, Aerial Lace, Flower Trick, and Thunder Punch. The cool thing about, excuse me, the cool thing about Choice Scarf, Cat, it outpaces Scovillain in the sun if that does decide to come. It also outpaces plus one, excuse me, sorry. It outpaces plus one either Booster Energy, Speed Boost, uh... Roaring Moon or a Dragon Dance up Roaring Moon. Either way, very scary Pokemon. Got to make sure I can deal with it. My most defensive Pokemon I have for it is still to it KO'd depending on the spread. So that could be very unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, that's that's uh, that's the cat. And then we got Scizor. Like I said, it's, uh, it's Terra Steel. Terra Steel Choice Banded Bullet Punch does so much damage to this entire team. Like, yes, there's an Iron Hands. Yes, there's a Torkoal. Yes, there's a Gastronon. It does not care. It just clicks the button over and over again. It's so strong. I love it so much. Shout out to CB Marcus for the idea. Um, bullet Punch, Quick Attack, U-Turn, and Brick Break. I did do a mock with Q. Shout out Q. And uh, screens were an issue, so I did. I had Trailblaze originally just so I could uh, Oko the fucking Gastrodon, but Brick Break definitely looked like the better option because screens Klefki is an issue. Um... Yeah, not much else to say. Just going to be getting momentum. I can quick attack if uh, Iron Hands gets out of Iron Hand. And <laughs> uh, and like I said, just Terra Steel Bullet Punch absolutely decimates shit. I'm going to need... My thought process for this season was I'm going to need a strong priority mon because these fucking... These, it's, it's an offensive meta. These setup sweepers are absolutely bonkers. So I wanted to have a strong... Possibly the strongest... Um, uh, priority move, you know, with the Terra and the Band and everything, so it's pretty cool. Then we have Gardevoir. There's going to be a Choice Scarf set this season. I mean, this <laughs> this season. Every, every season, every time, it's going to be Scarf. Choice Scarf Guard this time. 
this week, uh, Moonblast, Psychic, Mystical Fire, and Energy Ball. Just good coverage for everything. We can trace uh, the sun, if that does be a thing, you know. Uh, we could trace Magic Bounce. That could potentially be a cool uh, Storm Drain, stuff like that. So, uh, it's just a good mod. It's very strong, and my team so far is very physically heavy, so it's nice to have a strong special attacker as well. Next, we got Rotom Heat. Dude, we got some literal Rotom Heat here. We got Volt Switch, Overheat, Reflect, and Trick with a ring target on Rotom. Gastrodon is an issue. If I can get a Volt Switch's worth of chip off on that, I can Oko it with uh, pretty much anything else on my team. So, hopefully we can just trick that a good old-fashioned ring target. And if we do happen to trick Klefki, which could very well be Light Screen, I mean, which could be uh, Light Clay, then I'll have the Light Clay. I can get my Reflect up. And because... Mince was there, and because uh, Mince and Iron Hands, I didn't want to just be setup fodder for those things. I don't have Wisp, so I went ahead and just slapped Reflect on there. So at least bare minimum, if they are Dragon Dancing in my face or you know whatever Iron Hands wants to do, uh, we can just get that Reflect up. We can Volt Switch out, and then we can start dealing with it with some other stuff, and potentially have eight whole turns, which would be hilarious, you know. But, uh, yeah, week one, week one, no boots, hard ring target on fucking Rotom. You love to see it. Last but not least, we have Hollister, the Vaporeon, Baton Pass, Yawn, Wish, and Ice Beam. It's just basically here to, uh, die to Roaring Moon, really. Like, this, that's the most defensive thing I have. It's, it's gonna do its best, dude. I've, it, even in the mock, I think I lived on 1% from two acrobatics, which was a roll. So, if rocks are up, I think I just die. Uh, looking back, in hindsight... Rocky Helmet would have been cool, because maybe that would at least chip it down to put it in range of something else. But in my head, I was like, this is as much bulk as I can have. This is just what we're going to have to do. So it'll be good for that. It's not really great for Iron Hands. It's not really great for Skull Villain. Maybe I can get some chip off on like a Braviary or a uh, Lycanroc. But um, yeah, Vaporeon isn't great this gen. I'm not regretting drafting it, but uh, it definitely, as soon as I started building with it, I was like, fuck, I miss Scald, you know? <laughs> but that's going to be the team builder. I'll see you guys in a minute for the Battle versus Live. All right, here we are with the Battle versus Live, just communicating up. This is our first official Wi-Fi battle, I mean, you know, Draft League battle, of Gen 9, Scarlet Violet, and <laughs> my monitor just died. My second monitor literally just died, so we're going to be doing very minimal calcs. I got the, I got my notes slash her team pulled up on my phone here on the side. <laughs> this is going to be ghetto. I'm sorry. This is so weird. But uh, we're gonna make it happen. I like the squad. I think we got a good chance. We just gotta uh, we gotta click these buttons. And <sighs> where are my manners? You know where <laughs> where are my manners? Um, need a little caffeine in me. You know, sometimes you just gotta gotta get it going. They got. Uh, Okay, Roaring Moon is definitely there. We knew Lycanroc was coming. Uh, Clef Key. Braviary. Gastro. And Iron Hands. Okay. So, um, hmm. I don't really know what I want to lead. I led Scizor in a mock, and it wasn't exactly ideal, but uh, <laughs> um, I guess we can just lead, we can probably just lead our Scarf, Scarf Cat, I got Scarf Cat, um, Scarf Cat, Banded, Terra Steel Scizor, Scarf Gardevoir, they didn't bring Sun, so that's pretty nice, uh, but also bad, because Great Tusk absolutely goes in with the sun. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of tell. It's just pretty standard. Four offensive boys. Two defensive pivoty boys. Let's do it. Good luck. Have fun to live. We're going to try to... Dude. <laughs> let's just not go to timer. That's expectations for game one. No timer. You know what I mean? So, no sun. No hat. No Sableye. No Venomoth. Okay. Hard leads Gastro. Pretty good lead for us. I could just click... I could just click Grass Crit button. Um, it's going to do damage to whatever. 
Um, Klefki could come in. I do have a switch into that. Let's just click. Let's just let's just flower click, buddy. Let's just flower click. Klefki does come in. We do just click good old fashioned flower trick. Bars. I've actually never seen the animation for this. <laughs> I was, I was about to say, oh, that was a crit, but like that's, you know, that's the whole thing, right? So, uh, we're going to go hard Rotom. We're just going to go hard Rotom. NBD, hard Rotom. Klefki took like maybe 25%. But, uh, you know. I'm actually scared to bring up the calc at all because I ha it's only on my one screen. So if I bring it up, I could miss stuff that's actually in the battle. <laughs> so Rotom Yeet's going to come out. We do see some spiky boys. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, I'm just going to click Trick. I'm just going to click Trick regardless of uh, if they want to switch out in the Gastrodon or not. It is nice to not have to deal with this. Uh, great, I'm receiving texts. Not the time. Gastro does come out. You love to see it, dude. We trick it, the ring target. Uh, they no longer have a ground immunity for us. I mean, a uh, ground type, an electric immunity. We get our lefties. You'd love to see it, dude. We love it when a plan comes together. Uh, I'm clicking Volt. Clicking hard Volt, dude. Um, they probably eat a volt, and they aren't, probably, if I had to guess, they probably wouldn't be too concerned about it, but, uh, yeah, free volts for the rest of the game is super nice. Spike up is a little bit annoying. Spike up is a little bit annoying, but, uh, if we can get Great Tusk in here, we can spin versus a lot of stuff, and then get some huge damage off, you know? Okay. Does about 40. Um, does about 40. No big deal. I could go back into Pershifu. I could. Chilling water could hurt something. Um, I think we we'll just go Gardevoir. I think we we'll just go Gardevoir. Why did I repeat that in the exact same tone? I think I'll just go Gardevoir. I think I'll just go Gardevoir. We do take a spike. They do get up the rocks. It's fine. So if I had to guess, uh, I would think that they would want to send out their Klefki here. They do eat both hits. So I'm going to double to Gonfan, who is life orb. We can get a spin off, and then we can get big damage off on something. Do we see a Klefki in our in our midst? Yeah, okay. We do see the Klefki. I'm gonna just spin. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just spin and we can start getting damage off on stuff. I do stay in. It's not ideal. <laughs> There's the gleam. This is going to hurt, probably. Yikes. Okay, so we only have one hit left in us. Uh, we only have a one hit left in us. I guess we can go ahead and make it a close combat. I changed this to Life Orb at the last minute, and I kind of regret it uh, because of the situation right here, but the damage was absolutely... Uh, it's, it was just... it. I couldn't couldn't resist the damage, you know? Okay, so CC should take this out. Yeah. Klefki's going to go down. Uh, Great Tusk is going to go down to Life Orb. But it does take out Klef Klefki. Unfortunate. Probably should have just been leftovers like I was supposed to be. But damage, dude. We ain't going to timer. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> um, 
Hmm. I guess I can go back into the cat if I really want to. Um. I'm scared, boys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Scizor. I'm going Sizz. Bravery does come out. We are hurt by the spikes. Um, we are banded. We are in fact banded. I think I just throw off a bullet punch. Banded bullet punch. Banded bullet punch maybe? I could also just U-turn. Um, Cause Gastro is a decent switch in. Brave Bird's gonna fucking hurt though. Uh, if he does click it. I'll just U-turn. That is Brave Bird. Alright. That's some trip on Braviary. Nice. Very nice. I guess we can go into old uh, old Pershifu now and click Thunder Punch. We can go our Shifu and click Thunder Punch, I think. Should be fine. Yeah, we just click Thunder Punch. Just gonna click it. The scissor play was a little bit rough. I could have just terraced, terastalized, you know, but whatever. Beer Beer is gonna go down to uh, Cat. If they were Scarf, though, no, no, we are Scarf. Uh, but that damage on Scissor was a lot. That might have been Banded. And again, I'm, I can't... I'm, I'm just not going to Calc. I don't know. First game just might have to be a little rough, boys. First game might just have to be a little rough. Um, yeah. Scizor doesn't look that great, because Iron Hands is around. Gastro's around. But it could be nice to just be able to pick off something. We do see Iron Hands come out. We do see good old Iron Hands come out. Um, and I don't have a switch in because Gone Fan is, you know, gone. So I guess I guess I can just go Rotom Heat and we can click Reflect. I guess we can go to Rotom Heat and just click Reflect. The problem is my answers to other stuff are getting weakened. And that is less than ideal. You know, we do see a T-Punch. Oh, we're lefties now. That's super neat. We're just taking turns clicking Thundee Punch over here. I'm just going to reflect. Just going to reflect. Stop this thing from being super, uh, doing a whole lot of damage to us. That also is helpful for Roaring Moon and Lycanroc. Granted, it's only five turns, you know, but... We do click Reflect. They go for Drain Punch. We get the lefties. Noise. Noise. And I guess I can throw off an Overheat. kind of just want to volt, but I don't exactly switch into stuff well. Um, I guess I could go guard. Yo, actually, guard and moonblast looks pretty nice. We're going to volt. Doesn't do that much, but health on this is kind of nice. Um, drain punch, thunder punch. Yeah, either way... Hopefully it's not Thunder Punch. Either way, we're behind Reflect, but I'm hoping it is not a, uh, you know. They do go for T-Punch this time. Good play. Motherfucking shit, dick fuck. Uh, 
Not cool, man. Not LL Cool J. So I guess we just throw off a fucking Moonblast. It's just our Scarfer. Didn't need speed on that, you know? That's Pokemon. What are you going to do? Super annoying, but that's Pokemon. What are you going to do? Um, bro. Oh, dude, that fucking sucks. Big fat peepees. I'm gonna continue to click it because I don't have much of a fucking choice. But uh, that is super annoying. Okay, so that's like a salt vest, probably. Uh, two would have killed that, which is super, which would have been nice. But uh, you know. But you know. I don't think I can. Okay, I actually do have to calc. God damn it. That para sucks so much. PP. Um. Yeah, Flower Trick doesn't even fucking kill, dude. What do I... Uh, yeah, I needed that Moonblast damage, so we're going to lose the game now. But, uh, whatever. I can't... Yeah. This isn't a good game. <laughs> I'm trying to click fast. I don't want to go to timer. I want to, you know... I want to just kill stuff. I guess I could U-turn. U-turn into Rotom, maybe? I think I just got a flower trick. That does nothing, dude. That does so fucking little. At least the reflect is still up. I don't think the second one kills. Oh, the reflect wears off. Um, yeah, look, this isn't this isn't my best work, guys. Okay, I'm sorry, but I like I don't know what the fuck else to do. Okay, that one killed. Let's go. Iron Hands dies to Cat. That might have been min-max. The good news is... Roaring Moon... We have a full health Vaporeon. Gardevoir died to Iron Hands. Roaring Moon does come out. It's gonna get the Protosynthesis. I'm going right on into old Hollister. Go right into our boy. This is the, this is this is the moment we've all been frightened about. Uh, they got Roaring Moon in. It's a strong. God, that looks so cool. I'll go hard Hollister with the spike up. Um, if they hard Terra flying and go acrobatics. Okay, they didn't Terra. But now I think they do, and they probably kill us. So I'll throw off an Ice Beam. Terra Flying. Mega Mince has entered the building. We do die, unfortunate. Good job, Vaporeon. Good Pokemon to draft on your team. <laughs> um, we gotta get some damage off, so I'm gonna go Rotom. Rotom and Reflect seems nice. Ooh. Nice. Okay, with the Taunt, respectable. Respectable. Okay. A Volt Switch would have been much better there, you know? Um, so Taunt, Acro. Cool. We'll Volt Switch. Let's go for that Crunch. It does so much. Okay, and that takes it to about 60%. It takes it to about 60%. Um... See what we can do here. 
Rotom Heats, Volt Switch to a Flying type. Okay, right, right, right. So Meow Scarada doesn't kill it yet. So we gotta go Scizor. We'll go Scizor first. We'll go Scizor first. Scizor first and not die to the spike is nice. Then we will ter ter terastalize and we'll click Bullet Punch. Terastalize and Bullet Punch. Should put it in range of Thunder Punch. Get fucking- wait, that killed? Was that a crit? Jesus Christ, Roaring- I mean, Scizor. Scizor? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Like and rock is gonna come out. Um, I'm just gonna click bullet punch. Cell rock will take us out. Yeah. So scissors going to die. Were you like life orb maybe? No life orb. If they're sash, we are kind of fucked. Um. I think we're in range. I think we're in range of uh, a cell rock, actually, so we probably just die to this. Unfortunate. We just click flower trick, a cell rock. Yeah, that does just kill us. Okay, well, that's gonna be a GG to live. Um, like I said, not my best game. I feel like I made some good plays, especially there in the beginning, but I just couldn't fucking. Uh, not having. Not having my calcs up and available definitely sucks. Big ol' PPs. And then, uh, I think I shouldn't have sacked, given, shouldn't have given them as much damage on Scizor. I should have just bullet punched with, uh, should have just bullet punched with, um, Scizor. But, um, what are you going to do? You know? We live and we learn. We only lost 2-0. I thought we were going to lose 4-0 there for a minute, so that's kind of nice. But, um, yeah. First game with the team. Let's kind of, let's kind of think about this, right? What did I do incorrectly, besides most things? Um... Uh, before the next one, I'm getting a new monitor, for sure, because that would definitely help. Um, we didn't go to timer. That's cool. But uh, I guess I should have just attacked with Great Tusk. Should have just attacked the fucking Klefki. That was my problem in this game, actually. You know what? That was my problem in this game. There were spikes up on my side of the field, and I was not attacking the things that were in front of me. Not even the things that were in front of me. The fucking Great Tusk had no switch-ins. I should have just attacked, and I could spin later. You know what I mean? Um, Lycanroc was always going to be an issue, but because the spikes were up and because I was taking damage on, uh, on the cat, we were out, I mean, we were in a cell rock range. So, if I would have been able to get that reflect up, taunt set was really nice for Liv, but if I would have been able to get the reflect up, that might have changed things. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, we're going to take 2 ol Not the biggest deal, not the biggest deal, but, um, you know, it was fun, it's fun to be, it's fun to be back in draft, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I didn't, dude, I didn't even think about it. Banger of the day. Um, Anabolic Spudsman featuring Spencer Stewart and, uh, what's his face from Lorna Shore? Absolutely banger of a track by Bill Murray. Check it out, you know? So, uh, thanks guys for watching. I'm going to stop rambling and you can go back about your lives. But, uh, like and subscribe and do all that bullshit and we're going to come back week two with, uh, I think our game plan was decent, but it was just the, uh, the jitters of attacking versus pivoting versus spinning. Next time we're gonna we're gonna be better about clicking these buttons. Look, guys, I haven't played draft in a minute. Okay, clicking these buttons is a little more complicated than it seems sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, bye forever.